Hey little axolotls, welcome to another video or if you are new here, welcome to the tank. My name is Ezra and this is just a space where I share my life and healing journey as someone with a complex dissociative disorder and living at the intersections of race, disability, queerness, lots of things. And hi, this is, this is my new space. Um, I hope you like it. Not that I need approval from other people, but I'm, you know, when you're really excited to kind of share things to people, um, that's kind of this. Um, I'm really proud of myself. I, uh, that word, sometimes I, it feels like I'm not allowed to say it, so to speak, but I'm really proud of myself. This is the cute little background I have set up um, and I've got a whole filming space, um, which is really nice. Uh, hoping to film more videos, but you know, life does happen, but hi. Um, I wanted to do a bit of a catch up. I know that I did recently post, but I kind of just wanted to come on here and talk about how things have been for me adjusting to, you know, my new surroundings, new area, stuff like that. Um, it's been, it's been hard. Um, it has been, yeah, quite difficult to get used to being by myself, um, not having, not having my partner around, not yeah it's it's been it's been difficult um i am pretty much all set up in my new place now um it's taken a while even though i did have things obviously i brought over from um where i was previously living and the place that i'm living in did come um furnished there were still things that i did have to set up and little things that you don't necessarily realize that you need um because you're so used to having them like i'm talking things like Oh, um, tomato sauce, um, spices. I still haven't bought tomato sauce. <laughs> um, just things like that, obviously cleaning supplies. Yeah, I, there's still some boxes of, not necessarily boxes, but some stuff that I need to put into places. I've sorted through some old stuff, um, like my cables, cables to things I don't have anymore and I don't know what they belonged to, but yeah, it's been a process of just sorting through little bits and bobs um, that were in what I packed to come over here, um, things that I don't need anymore. Obviously setting up the space to feel more homey and less just like a generic, oh, I'm renting this space. I feel like for me, I am a lot more comfortable, um, especially when it comes to renting, right? I feel a lot more comfortable living in the space when I make it a bit more of my own personalize the space um, obviously within the within the reasons of the rental tenancy agreement but yeah it's feeling it's feeling more like home um, I purchased a net thing to set up all of my uh, plush toys which are mostly plush um, rabbits so I have that set up um, right next to my bed I have boxes full of things I've got um, you know organized for my different arts and crafts. I have my PC set up so I can play some games. Um, I have kind of set up my kitchen in a way that makes sense for me at least. And I have this little space behind me as well. And I've got a whole filming set up, which I'm excited. I'm excited for um, because it just feels like, it feels like more of a office desk workspace kind of thing that I don't necessarily need to pull stuff out each time I go to use them, which makes me less inclined to do so. So I just have a space where I can film or I can game or I can do some writing on my memoir. I can do some work on my website and I'm finally starting to feel like I can do those things um, because before, yeah, it was just a setting everything up, this, that and the other. So yeah, home life is starting to settle down. Um, the rabbits and Patrice are having an absolute ball of a time. Every morning, um, Patrice and Nimbus will go to the door when I get up because they will want to, um, they'll want to go outside in the courtyard and it's really lovely. It makes me really happy that they do have that outdoor space um, that I can just take them out to, keep an eye on them through the window it's, it's really nice. Um, as for other things in life, I went to go to a poetry slam last night. I was super excited about it. I've been keen for it since two weeks ago when my support worker um, suggested it. 
I went last night, there were a lot of people there. Uh, we got there maybe 20 minutes before it was due to start and I had a lot of anxiety. There were some younger parts that were around and I started tearing up. Um, my support worker was helping to ground me, like trying to name different patterns and different colors and things that I could see. I got inside, I was feeling quite overwhelmed. I started tearing up and crying and a younger part was very present and there was just a lot of anxiety, a lot of sense of overwhelm. So I didn't end up actually watching the poetry slam, but I'm trying not to give myself too much of a hard time about it because my goal was to go to the poetry slam and my support worker, she was very comforting to be in the car as well on the drive home, just being like, well, this was your goal. You went, we went, we've achieved that goal. You know, you can be proud of yourself for that. So yeah, I'm, I'm feeling somewhat proud of myself. I did go, maybe next time I will sit through it or the next goal is to, you know, stay there for say 20 minutes. Um, we're going to change the, the plan a little bit and not get there so early. Um, yeah, just making those little kind of accommodations to myself, being more gentle and kind. And yeah, so that happened. Um, I think I've done three sessions of group therapy so far and I'm really, really enjoying that um, on top of, you know, my regular therapy sessions. But that has been going well. Um, my support worker is going to help me with my resume and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to do that over dinner on Thursday night, just as a little casual yet formal uh, thing. I have seen an OT uh, once. I've got another appointment this week in regards to getting an assistance animal, but that process is quite long and hopefully I might document that along the way um, because yeah, it's, it's a whole bunch of reports and evidence and waiting for the NDIS to process things. But on top of that, if NDIS approve it, then it's the process of waiting for the dog to be trained, which I think the whole thing can take up to two years thereabouts, give or take. Um, yeah, so that's something else that is happening in my life. I'm feeling, yeah, just a gradual, gradual sense of calm as things start to settle. Um, yeah, obviously, Relationship-wise, I miss I'm, I miss her, um, but yeah, I don't I don't know how much I don't know how much to say without it getting too much into an invasion of privacy. Like I want to talk about my my general feelings of you know living by myself or how it, it's difficult to break up with someone that you do love, but you're just at different um, different paths within your healing or ju just wanting different things in life and I suppose maybe that is just the long and short of it um, but it, it, it's it's hard and I do get emotions that do come up every now and then obviously you know being with someone for five years missing someone loving them but just feeling like you're not better apart but just feeling as though yeah ju just had different traje trajectories in life different different goals and that sucks but that's also okay um yeah yeah um so maybe I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about my emotions in a separate video to this update but i just thought i'd update you guys and show you my new little space my little filming wall um yeah i'll might show you a photo of the actual setup itself but i'm just i'm really happy with it and i'm looking forward to filming and doing some more work on my memoir, on my website, um, now that I do have this, this space for myself. So thank you all for watching. Um, keep swinging little axolotls and always remember to be authentic, be accountable, be inclusive, and I will, we will see you for the next video. Bye.